Okay, let's start the sew along for my ME2080. Um, here is the line drawings and the size chart and finish measurement and what kind of fabric you'll need. Um, so it's a tennis dress that's um, stretchy. It's a knit material and then a sweatshirt. And it has ribbing for the um, the cuffs and the bottom band, and then a drawstring. And all right, let's pull out the instructions. So here's a closer look at the line drawings. And then I'll go over the pieces really quick and then we'll start. Um, so this is the front bodice and then the bodice back and then the shoulder strap and the loop for the, uh, the strap adjusters. And then front stay, which is like a facing and the back facing and then um, the skirt pieces, the front and back, and then the biker shorts underneath, and the pocket that goes on the side of the leggings or the biker shorts, and it's a phone pocket. And those are the pieces for the dress, and then I'll be doing the sweatshirt next. So I've already cut out my pieces, and let's go to step one. Okay, so first we're gonna start out with sewing these shoulder straps. So you're gonna sew it with a 1 4 inch seam allowance. Normally with big five, it's, it's 5 8 inch, so just make sure you do this with 1 4 inch, and then we'll turn them out. And I'll do that and be right back. Okay, I just turned my straps and the two loops that go in the back. And so the next step is to get the front bodice, and we're gonna Base the straps to the top. So, okay, so you should have two notches at the top, um, but pretty much it's just 5 8 inch down and 5 8 inch over. And, all right, and I'll base the other side, same spot. Okay, so I've basted the straps at the top. And the next step is to base the, the back loops and the adjusters to the back bodice. So you can see right there. So let's get the back. Okay, so these are the strap adjusters and sliders. So you're gonna use the circle side, this one and I bought this in Atlanta. I can't remember what the store was called, but it was pretty cheap. It was 99 cents for, I think there's 10 in there. Um, okay, so we have the loops and you're just gonna put it on the little strap around it like that. And then we're gonna pin it to the top of this. Okay. Okay, so I'll go baste these just like I did the front bodice and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I basted the loops on with the strap adjuster loop. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to stitch the bodice front to the bodice back at the side edges. So let's get back. In the front and you're gonna put it right sides together so the straps will be sandwiched in between and 
Make sure you don't catch the strap. I just make sure it's in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna go both, so both the side seams at 5 8 inch. And you can use your overlocker or your sewing machine. I'm just gonna be using my sewing machine today. And I'll do that and be right back. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the stay or the facing. Um, so you're just gonna sew it at the side seams. Okay, so I've got the back and the front. And I will just go sew the side seams at 5 8 inch and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I've sewed the side seam or the yeah, the side seams on the stay. And now we're gonna press up the lower edge um, 7 8 inch, and then we're gonna stitch it at 5 8 inch from the fold. And then you're gonna leave a little spot open right here to insert your elastic. So I'm gonna fold it up and pin it so it's just under an inch, seven eighths inch, and then we'll stitch it all the way around five eighths inch and leave a little gap so that we can put some elastic in it. And I'll go stitch that and then be right back. Okay, so I sewed that and I completely forgot that I was using white, but since it's the like bralette underneath and you're not gonna see it, I'm just gonna leave it because a tiny zigzag is a nightmare to unpick. Um, I left a little gap for the elastic and now we're going to attach the front and back bodice to this stay. So this uh, step eight, and you're gonna we're gonna be stitching the top and the under, um, the underarm, and the back. So let me grab this. Also, I am going to trim the sides so it's less bulky. If you used your overlocker, then you probably trimmed it already. Um, okay. So I'll make sure those are in. And then also one other thing I'm going to do. So the front is a slight sweetheart neck. You can see it has a point. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a line there so that I know exactly where to pivot my needle because I think It'll give it a cleaner like V. It's only a slight V, but it'll make it easier. Go. Top. So I'm just gonna That way when my needle gets there, I can s s put the needle down and then pivot it and then go up. And then afterwards, we're gonna clip down almost to the, to the seam um, without cutting it. Okay, so I'm actually gonna turn this one right sides out. And then we'll put the stay. So the main, the front and back are right sides out. We'll have the stay inside out. And then we'll match up the front. We'll put it over the whole thing and the front in between. And then we're just gonna pin or clip. I'm gonna use my clip. Okay, so now that I have that pinned, I'm going to go sew at 5 8 inch 
And then just remember at the front, it has a slight V. So to put your needle, end with your needle down in this line that you marked and then pivot and go back up. So I will sew this and, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I stitched all the way around the underarm and the neckline. Um, before I trim it, I just wanna turn it and make sure that it looks okay. Okay, so I think it looks good. So I'm gonna clip the center of the sweetheart neckline. Let's see. I'm just going to clip almost to the middle. And then I'm going to trim this down to probably like one fourth inch. Okay, so now that I've trimmed the seam allowance, we're going to under stitch it. And under stitching, if you go to the right side, so, so under stitching is basically opening up. This is the, the um, front and back, the main side. This is the bralette that's underneath it, the stay. Now you're going to push the seam allowance underneath towards the stay, towards the lining. So you'll you'll put both sides of the seam allowance towards the lining and then on the lining side or the stay, you're going to stitch a line as close to the seam line as possible. And you'll do that all the way around. So stitching the seam allowance onto the lining side and then that will hold your lining underneath when it's on so that it doesn't roll forward when you wear it. So we'll go under stitch all the way around and then we'll move on to the next step. And let me show you the illustration. So you can see the under stitching is right along the edge on the lining side. So I'll go do that and then be right back for the next step. Okay, so I under stitched the front and the back. And so when you have it front, the, the lining stays under because of that. So definitely don't skip that step. Make sure to use a stretch stitch. I used the lightning bolt stitch on my machine. That's what it looks like. It's the stretch stitch. If you use a straight stitch, it'll pop when you wear it. Or you could try the Mettler Thread Seraflex. It's stretchy. On the one in my cover photos, I used Seraflex for the whole thing and it worked really great. Um, okay, so now that we have the top basically constructed, we just have to attach the straps and then, let's see. And then also we need to put the elastic in, but we'll do that a little bit later. I'm gonna set this aside. And now we're gonna move on to the skirt. So you're gonna stitch the front and back skirt at the side seams. And there's an optional slit. Um, I think I am going to do it this time because it just makes it a little bit easier to stick your hand in for the phone pocket. Um, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna sew the side seams at 5 8 inch. And let's get my skirt pieces. All right. Okay, so I'll put them right sides together. And then we'll sew the sides at 5 8 inch on both sides. And if you're leaving the slit, just make sure to sew to the mark and leave the bottom open. And I'll do that and be right back. Okay, now that we have sewn the skirt. We're going to hem the bottom. Okay, so you'll press the bottom of the skirt up one and a quarter, and then 
you'll stitch it at one or you'll hem it at one inch. Okay, so I've hemmed the bottom. I used a zigzag stitch, the lightning bolt stitch, and it stretches. Um, and now we're gonna do the slit. So you're gonna do a narrow hem. So you're gonna fold it under once and then fold it under again. So you can see this illustration. And then you're gonna sew from the bottom and then pivot over, pivot all the way down. So I'll go sew the slit and then I'll be right back. Okay, I finished the slit. You can see I sewed up and around it. And now we're gonna move on to the shorts. So step 12, stitch shorts front to shorts back at side edges. So let's get the shorts. Okay, so we're gonna take the shorts and we're gonna put them right sides together and sew the side seams. Okay, I sewed both legs at 5 8 inch and I'm gonna trim the seam down to about 1 4 inch and then we're gonna sew on the pocket. Okay, so we're gonna fold over the top edge of the pocket by 5 8 inch, and then we're gonna stitch close to this edge and then 1 4 inch from that. So it kinda, so it has like two top stitches. So I will do that and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna put the pocket on the right leg cause that's the leg that my slit is on. So it'll be easier to put the phone in. So, this is gonna be really easy. You're just gonna line it up with the bottom of the pants. You're gonna hem the pocket. Okay, so you're gonna line the pocket up with the bottom of the shorts and the bottom of the pocket will be hemmed up with the shorts like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go press the pocket edges and the bottom in 5 8 inch. So just the seam allowance. And I'll do that and then we'll move on. Okay, so now we're going to attach the pocket and I've pressed the sides in 5 8 inch. And then you're gonna put the pocket in between, halfway in between each leg and there's notches. And you're gonna align the bottom of the pocket with the bottom of the shorts and it'll get hemmed up with the shorts. Okay, so we're just gonna edge, edge stitch the pocket in place and then um, we'll base the bottom on. Okay, so I'm just gonna edge stitch it. I'll stitch it down and then down and then I'll just base the bottom. I'll do that and be right back. Okay, so I sewed the pocket on. Okay, we're gonna stitch the inner legs. So on both legs, we'll stitch this in with 5 8 inch. I'll do that and be right back. Okay, I've stitched the inner legs and I'm gonna trim the seam allowance. I just trim it to about 1 4 inch. Okay, now we're gonna stitch the legs together. We're gonna turn one of them right sides out and then we're going to take the one that's right side out and put it inside this one and you're going to align the side seams and then we're going to we're going to pin the crotch seam and then, um, and make sure when you get to the crotch seam right here, you make sure that it matches. But we're gonna pin this all the way around and then we'll sew it at 5 8 inch. So I'll do that and be right back. 
All right, we have the shorts with the pocket. And now, let's see. Okay, so now we're just going to hem the shorts. And you're just going to fold it up. Fold up the seam allowance. And then we'll stitch it um, down. So, let's see what this Okay, so you're going to fold it up one and one fourth inch, just like you did the skirt. And then you'll stitch it close to the raw edge. So I'll go do that and then be right back. Okay, so now that we've hemmed the shorts, um, we're going to, I'll press that in a minute, but we're going to put the skirt over the shorts. And so let's put it. Okay, and so we'll align the waist and make sure you match up the side seams and there should be notches on the front and back. And then we're gonna go baste all around the top of the waist. And so I'll go baste the top and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I basted the top of the skirt and now we're gonna attach the bodice to the skirt. So I'm going to turn the bodice inside out and then we'll put it over the skirt. and match up the side seams and the notches and I'll pin it all the way around and then we're going to go sew that all the way around the waist at 5 8 inch. All right, we're almost done. We're going to flip it right sides out and now all we have to do is insert the elastic into the bralette inside and then attach the straps to the loops in the back so let's attach the straps okay so you're gonna grab the sliders so these and You're gonna put it on the strap and make sure the strap is, isn't twisted. So you'll put it through and then back through the other side. So when you have it on like this, this will be on the top. This is the inside touching your skin. So then after you have it on there, you're going to slide it through, make sure it's not twisted, slide it through the loop. I'm going to scoot that up. Okay, so you put it through the loop and then you're going to bring it through the bottom, back up through the bottom on the inside so in there and then back up so kind of like this and then once it's through we'll stitch it to this or wait no to to itself right there 